Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Also, <coughs> so we are just checking the audio. Mm -hmm. AC actually, AC is also not required this much. Okay, sir, I'll just mm. reduce it a bit. <coughs> Can we switch it off? How do you feel? I AC. Like huh? Hot, sir. Is no. no, once we like, if you see sweating, then you can switch it on. Yeah. This will give us uh, cold. Huh. 27. 27. Yeah, fine. Okay. Yeah, audio is fine. And then, uh, just uh, we'll show the screen to search it the center. No, sir. This is how it, it looks, sir. Now, this way. Thank you. 27. I think uh, I think this in the correct is the, position, sir. Uh, yes, sir. So yes, not sir. exactly before the camera. Right, sir. Slightly away from Just the camera. Just see, sir. Look. This is an angle. Yeah. Kaushik, you also go and stand. Let's see. Uh, Just to uh, uh, so time. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Space break. Please tell us how yeah. Echo is going because of. Uh, I'm just muting. Slightly. So it should come slightly right. Yeah. Slightly this way, the right height. My way. Achha. Yeah, which means just uh, facing the camera. Right, right, sir. Right, sir. Now it is. Is it fine, sir? Only yeah. If, oh, he, sorry, turns, sorry. Oh. if he turns, then again his movement right, will happen. Right. I think this is. I think it's just yeah. facing the camera. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. Right, sir. Fine. You can start. No, all of you, you can also do that. Yeah. You are answering the technical questions. We will say yeah. this is our team. No, no, we'll all stand together. Come, 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 come. As it started, one yes, sir, we are live only, sir. Okay. So, good evening to all of you. Can you hear us? They'll put here. But it will take like 25 seconds to reply, sir. Good evening. Can you hear us? So just say uh, yes or no. Uh, are we audible? Can you hear us? Can you hear my voice? Good evening. Can you hear my voice? Just say uh, yes. yes. Okay. Suji has said yes. Uh, okay. So uh, first of all, uh, very big thanks to all of you for uh, registering this course. Uh, thanks to all of you. It has crossed 50,000 uh, landmark registration and above. So I want to start with the uh, introduction of our team members. You know me, I am Professor Ravichandran. On uh, this side, you can see uh, Yashashwini. Hello. So you know her uh, through her various answers and also you can see Kaushik this side. So Kaushik also has been answering you on the basis of the content. But we also have a technical support and most of your questions related to uh, uh, Murli. Yes, yeah, yeah. It will come a little late. Sir. Okay. Hello. So uh, most of the questions related to technical ones, related to your exam, registration, etc. were all answered by uh, Murli. So this is our team. So now, uh, uh, respectable haircut. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So uh, let's uh, maximum utilize this time, one hour. So they are all here in the background to monitor your questions. And then 
they are uh, not going to let me answer questions which you ask repeatedly okay uh, so do not ask questions repeatedly then they will not uh, say any uh, uh, show those questions so keep that in mind and then i am also going to start with the <laughs> so i'll start with uh, some of the offline questions okay and yashashwini and kaushik they are looking at your questions and then they are going to give me the most important questions so keep that in mind and the questions which are not repeated already we have sorted out the most important questions which are relevant for the course and for the examination from whatever you have already sent offline in the google sheet okay so based on that so i am starting with uh, questions related to exam kushal kumar thakur mithun yadav supriya malshi so three have asked this but other than three there are more than 300s who are asking the same questions so when your name has not come it means somebody has asked the question so all the three have asked this uh, what is the examination pattern and then what is the evaluation process what kind of questions will come will it be like assignments and all that so understand first there is no negative marking okay this is another re oft repeated question there is no negative marking exam is for 100 marks 25 marks only true or false questions and then 75 they are only multiple choice questions there is no essay questions there are so many people asking us whether there will be essay questions no essay questions no descriptive type questions no subjective type questions all are objective answers okay and based on your request we have tried to minimize author book okay author quote kind of quotations but this is a course where some of you have asked why are you asking these authors names and all that so suppose somebody says for example the seven habits of highly effective people i want you to remember it is by stephen covey okay so those are very important authors they'll keep coming to you in various forms in your lifetime so you need to know the names of the author and the name of the book so some of the book we want you to register in your mind so we ask them repeatedly but we have minimized uh, those kind of questions so exam will be easy or difficult easy if you have done all the assignments okay or even if you have done some of them but if you are watching the videos regularly as some have asked what is the best way to prepare for this examination in case you have not watched the video watch them once again while watching make quick notes this has been told again to you in the beginning make quick notes and after making the notes just before the exam take a relook at the notes so that will be sufficient the other thing the students have asked is like uh what is the minimum uh, criteria for passing so 40% marks are expected to get the certificate okay if you just want to have the exam experience you can you are always welcome even without giving assignments but only if you at least score 10% in the assignments you will be getting the certificate so that has become mandatory from uh, this time so that you should keep in mind but it should not discourage you if you have not done any of the assignments still come and give the exam so you'll be able to do well in the course okay so that much i wanted to tell you about the pattern no negative marks and uh, now that i said do not ask these questions repeatedly uh, now in the live one so if you ask that they will not be showing that to me okay so uh, the questions will be just like what you have done for the assignments so there are multiple choice questions and true or false in the assignments we mixed them for 25 but in the exam we are making 25 for true or false and 75 for the uh, multiple choice questions and 3 hours you will be uh, going to your computer terminal in the nearest uh, exam center and then you will be giving it online 
just like the way you have done the assignments before only difference is from your home environment you will go to the exam center that is the only difference okay now going to the content based questions and answers amar jyoti singh how can or how one cannot get addicted to phones if his her livelihood is uh, livelihood is fully dependent on phone so we have enter modules on not getting addicted to this not becoming mobworks not becoming cyborgs despite the fact that these things have become an integral part of our life it is important to live a happy life that you use them as your slaves you do not use them as your masters so if you true we are uh, dependent on phone but you should understand that there are occasions okay where you cannot take the phone with you for example interview hall i have told you even if it is going to be there for one hour so if you are so addicted to check your whatsapp message or facebook message or answer a call immediately so interview they will watch this behavior and they will just rule out from the option of selecting you at all this has been already discussed there so there are many occasions like exam hall 3 hours if you are so addicted to phone and then put it in your pocket if the mobile is seen in your pocket so your life chance of giving the exam will be gone okay so many cases it looks like it is indispensable you need to know that you have to use it very sparingly and you have to make discreet use of it but if it has become an addiction so they say that now you have to have a time in which you switch off all this wifi connection wifi internet mobile and then have some other activity like uh, going outside talking to your friend or uh, even uh, going for a walk and then spending some time on your own so that will make you live a very healthy life and to start with if you think that you are fully dependent start by switching off your mobile at least for half an hour one hour in a day increase the time period and very soon people will know that there is a time only in which i can contact the person there are times in which i cannot contact the person and you should get out of your addiction with all the social media use it only when it is required use it for example like youtube we are also using it to communicate with you to educate you to impart knowledge but youtube when you check something and then you should not get distracted for the entire night lose your sleep and then watch videos after videos so that should not happen okay so use it sparingly and then uh, of all addictions i am also going to talk to you about the habits how to overcome addiction addictive bad habits this also related to that you need to cultivate a good habit now if you are used to reading something even on mobile even our course for example you are uh, doing it using the mobile now you need to develop another habit for example taking notes even without looking at anything on the video so cultivate a good habit and then uh, for example if you are all the time sitting before your uh, social network group just go out and meet some person and then go to a uh, hotel and then have food with someone but do not use the mobile at all during this time so start with developing some good habits and then slowly you'll be able to change uh, geet gayatri has asked how should i overcome my stage fear okay again we have talked so much about this but very quick tips there was a quote from mahatma gandhi which was told to you that if you want to overcome any fear be it walking in darkness you have to do that repeatedly so it's only practice that can make you perfect now in order to overcome your stage fear you have to if you remember in presentation skills it is mentioned you have to go to the venue practice being there in the venue make yourself acquainted with the venue greet the people and then be familiar with the surroundings and then once you are familiar with the surroundings fear normally comes because of the fear of the unknown so once you make yourself acquainted with the area in which you are going to give the presentation you will feel okay secondly there is no compromise for knowledge if you are thorough with something the fear will automatically go so only it is lack of preparation that will again make you feel nervous make you fear that if somebody will ask me some question what will happen to me 
and that fear of humiliation will make you feel nervous so thorough preparation practice and then making repeated practice in the environment in which you are going to give the presentation will make you completely overcome this stage fear uh, there are other questions coming from the online one so my question is about which parameter plays a vital role in interviews whether a college which i have studied or my cgpa or my skills uh, on the one hand i would say that it's a, a perfect blend of all the three okay but on the other hand ultimately it's your uh, personality it's the knowledge uh, skill set that you have developed there are people who are coming from very unknown college who have uh, reached uh top level despite uh, the fact that they are from college there are others who got selected because of let us say for example somebody from iit got selected over somebody from a government unknown college but even after selecting if the person is not having the required skill set knowledge the person will not be uh, progressing in his career he will not be promoted further so background is important to the extent that you have developed your core personality and then cgpa is also equally important because there are some interviews you need to have a minimum score without which you will not be able to go but having said that if you ask me uh, there is a 10 pointer who completely lacks communication skills and soft skills and there is an 8 pointer or 9 pointer who is excellent in communication and soft skills obviously the one who has soft skills and a, a standard cgpa is likely to get selected or after selecting it is this person who is likely to be promoted because it is the first entry for which your cgpa and your college matters but once you enter one profession so the remaining part depends on what you do in that profession not from where you came from so you will be assessed based on how you perform and for the performance soft skills and your personality development is of utmost importance okay and then by by lakuntala sai kaundinya sir while i am on stage i get tensed for a minute and become normal why this is happening so this is a normal uh, human thing so anything unknown so body will have this fight or flight mechanism it will not only make you tense tensed but it will also make you nervous you may feel like shivering shaking you may be even sweating but you should understand that it's normal so once you know that it's normal you will become normal and it's when you become normal you should start delivering your most powerful points and ideas and then start filling the nervous uh, moments with initial thing like introducing your topic saying things which are commonly known to everyone etc pokemon tv what is your real name so uh, asking will questions come from outside the videos and lectures questions will not come from outside the videos and lectures uh, as you have been told repeatedly all the questions will be based on whatever you have studied so far for the course so you if you want to score well watch the videos again go through the assignments once again certain questions are even likely to be repeated from the assignments we have some percentage we need to repeat okay so the answers may be slightly different questions may be slightly different but going through the assignments once again will also help so a list of books must to read suggested uh, is again asked repeatedly uh, each lecture at the end of it okay references are given to you okay just go and take a look at the references for each lecture all the references which i have given are all the best references so try to uh, buy those books and then uh, read them but at the uh, towards the end i am going to talk about some other questions asked by other students and then i'll suggest one interesting book uh i'll go back to offline questions a mohammed ajmal and lata so both have questions 
related to what cons causes the person to think negative in life this is by ajmal and lata as how to deal with people always with negative comments now both are related to negative thinking and uh, negative people so i'll just briefly talk about this because uh, in the introductory part of the lecture very often it has been emphasized about developing a positive personality now one of the ways in which you can develop a positive mindset positive personality is by avoiding people who have a negative mindset now the question what causes the person to think negative in life often circumstance sometimes people say that it could be hereditary also like uh, uh, there are cases in which uh, people who are negative in their family so they have inherited some traits from the ancestors so these are all uh, just like surmises but not proven what i would tell you and what we are trying to tell you is that nurture is more important than nature so if even if you feel that people around you are negative if you constantly pay attention to change your thinking into positive it is possible there is this uh, you are asking about uh, books so one of the books by edward d bono lateral thinking so in that he conducts an experiment and then he tells all the people to look at all the red color things in the room so they look at red color things and then uh, they identify some 20 items so a handbag a mobile cover so and so on they identify and then he tells them to uh, pass for a while note everything and then he says now identify all the green color uh, objects in the room for a while they say that there is no green color object okay and then he says that no practice again just check and then slowly they note one by one and then they to their surprise and even shock identify that there are 25 or more green items which they were not able to see when their mind was focusing on lawn red items so obviously the moral is when you are focusing only on negative you will miss out all the positives when you look at the thorn on the rose you will actually lose the fragrance of the rose the beauty of the rose and you will miss it so even in any negative situation even in any that kind of situation you should be able to ask the question what is the best i can do with this situation and what positive thing i can develop in this situation so if you can do that so you will be able to develop positive mind and what to do with this negative people first you avoid them as much as possible but if they are the ones who are there with you all the time and you cannot avoid them and then they are making some uh, uh, comments uh, two things one instead of reacting to their comments uh, which is the thing that they will feel encouraged they say something negative and then you are upset okay so they will be encouraged to say more things but instead of that they say something negative and instead of getting upset you just smile and then you say fine and then you uh, laugh at what they are saying and then you just make them feel that it doesn't matter to you and secondly all psychologists say that whatever happens in your surroundings if you can keep your mind strong and then if you do not react to that so you will remain peaceful and calm so learn even if they are saying something negative you be positive minded avoid these people and if confronted just give smile as the answer and that will put them off if you smile and laugh at their thing it will put them off so i am coming back to uh, some questions uh, online uh, Kashinath Bagade says this is a very good course please create some human resources development courses for industries for increasing and enhancing their skills for productivity exactly we have the highly advanced level course enhancing soft skills and personality so we will request all of you to register for that so very soon the registration will open and then uh, uh, that's slightly higher than this more aspects related to industry and then more aspects related to conflict resolutions are all being uh, discussed in uh, that one so try to uh, register for that course 
Will training in front of mirrors while developing my communication skills effective? Obviously, yes. So, uh, especially when you are going to deliver a talk. So, if you can train in front of mirrors and then you observe what you are doing, you yourself will minimize the bad body language. Like if you have the habit of playing with your button or if you have some unpleasant facial expressions, when you yourself look at it and if you don't like it, so you will obviously change. So, practicing before mirrors is done by even very great speakers. So, it's something that you do. In modern days, however, you can use your mobile phone. Mobile phone can be used as a mirror just to see or you record it on a video and then you continuously watch it again and again. Pause where you think that you have made some mistakes and then replay if it is fine. So, by that way also you can improve. Vanshika Kar says that, sir, we learned that appearance. So play a major role in judging personality but on the other hand we know that appearances are deceptive. So again if you go to the lecture on interview skills, body language, it has been told to you that most of the times an interview gets decided, the candidates gets selected in the first few minutes hardly uh, two to three minutes based on the body language based on the appearance things get selected okay there is a revision that's taking place if the candidate is equally good in knowledge and other thing the candidate is 100 percent selected but most of the times uh, people go by appearance and that is why you need to pay more attention to it we also know that appearances are deceptive in the sense that one can actually cover up one's uh, negative traits by uh, appearing to be really a good person. So, appearances are, are deceptive is used in the sense that somebody may uh, look nice but inside the person may not be really so. So, Shakespeare's famous quotation, one may smile and smile yet be a villain. So, in that sense it is used but in terms of soft skills, body language, appearance in terms of following ethical codes in dressing like for an interview so it has been told to you that be conservative in your dressing than just going in some bermuda shorts and uh, t-shirts or jeans which is torn and you think it is fashionable so their appearance is uh, playing a very crucial role okay uh, let me take one from the offline Kushpu Mehta says that suggests some strategies for pressure and stress management during competitive exams. Okay. Uh, the first thing is pressure itself will not come if you had followed some of the suggestions given in the course such as systematic preparation, planning and systematically preparing and then preparing then and there making notes and Towards the end, you are only using the notes for study. There won't be any stress. Stress will come only when you realize that there is so much I have to read and then so little time. Okay, So, that amounts to time management. So, uh, which again you should go to the discussion we had on time management and if time permits, I will also uh, refer to it. Somebody is also asking similar question. But on the other hand, apart from handling your stress through thorough preparation. There are other uh, aspects of handling it. For example, sleeping properly. So, this has been told to you in terms of uh, carrying your health. Like if you are able to sleep in time at least before or by 10 o'clock and then wake up early in the morning and then take a walk in the sunlight and then if you are able to take vitamin D. So, any kind of negativity, any kind of stress will reduce because that morning walk in the sun gives you a kind of positive mindset and then you feel that it's another day, I can handle it. Okay. The other way of handling stress academically is that this enormity of task, break them into pieces, handle the ones that you can handle during daytime and there are some light tasks, you keep it for reading at night, break them into small items and then handle it. Add things like yoga, meditation, healthy diet, okay, 
and then some moderate exercise so whether it is walking jogging or a playing a game regularly so this will all help you to combat with uh, stress in a nice manner uh, how to be motivated all time when i study how to handle pressure in engineering study so pressure in engineering study whatever i said above with regard to stress is fine and then uh, pressure not only in engineering study any study will not be there if you are genuinely interested in the subject instead of thinking that you will compete with someone whether i will get those marks or not develop interest in the subject and that is the uh, way you will get motivated all the time when you study uh, there is no need to use some spike drinks or uh, uh, concentrated coffee to keep you awake if you put your heart and soul and if you relate that reading this is going to develop my career and then succeeding in this will help me so if you are able to relate that that is what we have been telling from the beginning set your goal and relate your objectives whatever actions you are doing with the goal so then you will be able to actually minimize the stress at the same time motivate yourself to read further okay uh, Nitesh Nish. Again, uh, already I answered the question about uh, mirror. It is there. So, uh, Shaunak Bos Bosu, sir, sometimes it's too difficult to control anger. How can we control anger when somebody does something wrong to us? Okay. Uh, again, uh, in anger management, it is being told that most of the times when you are angry. most of the times when you are short tempered you have not understood the perspective of the other person you have been told from steven covey about empathy so how can we control anger when somebody does something wrong to us now even the thinking that somebody is doing wrong to you is coming from your perspective if you can ask the other person like why you are doing this to me what i have a done to make you do this to me and if the person can tell you this is why i am uh, doing it for you and if you have actually done something wrong and if you can make amendments so you will be able to control the situation on the other hand if the other person is getting angry and shouting at you and doing something if you want to minimize the situation you have to keep your calm and cool so if you also respond react in the same manner so there will be a lot of conflict and then you may end up uh, harming each other which is undesirable uh, so uh, you say it is too difficult to control anger because somebody is doing something wrong as i said if you are able to empathize and take the right perspective you can never get angry with anyone most of the times we get wrong things and assume things because of that Uh, we always uh, get angry so try to see the things in right perspective himanshu gupta i am okay you are okay what does this imply so this implies uh, something called transaction analysis in psychology so it's, uh, it's even the title of a famous book i am okay you are okay what it implies is uh, people go so much by your uh, body language in the first minute in which when you say hello how are you and the other person says i am okay and then asking you how are you are you okay the moment you say i am okay so you decide whether you want the relationship or not whether you want the relationship in various levels like uh, in the transaction analysis uh, the authors talk about various levels like at least three basic levels adult level child level okay and then there is a, a parent level so when you are the parent level the ego is very high and you want to control the other person and then try to give advice and suggestions when you are the child level you behave like a child okay so uh, and the adult is the one who tries to moderate now the relationship is all the time working on this level either you are a parent child or adult adult or child parent so when somebody is asking you how are you when you say i am okay you are actually trying to figure out what role will you play and if you do not like to play your role in this case then you actually uh, do not continue with the uh, relationship so there are other things like uh, uh, 
uh, what would you say after you say hello? So that is also crucial. Navneet Yadav, sir, please tell us how to tackle mood swings. Okay. Uh, uh, related to uh, the discussion we had on postponement, if you look at it, sometimes uh, because of uh, uh, your swinging of mood, so you will not do certain tasks and delay the things, okay? And you have been told that if you want to become a professional or the difference between a professional and a unprofessional is that the professional will be able to work through even if there is mood swing, okay? Now, mood swing, instead of thinking that my mood is changing quickly, okay, Analyze and understand that mood swing is, first of all, something normal, something human. If your mood is not swinging, you are not a human being. So only robots will not have any mood swings. But on the other hand, if your mood will swing like change in weather very quickly, so then you need to temper it, control it. And especially suppose you have a deadline. For example, uh, you have to give the exam. Okay. And then just before the exam, your mood is changed and it says that I'm not in a mood for an exam. I want to watch a movie. Now, you have to tell your mind, this is more important for my career. I can watch the movie even after giving the exam. Okay. So, tackle mood swing by reasoning it out, telling you what is the right thing to do. And all the time, you know what is the right thing to do. But having said this, sometimes like uh, for no reason, you may feel sad. For no reason, you may feel happy also. So, what they say is, when you feel happy, you will enjoy. Okay, I am feeling happy. But when you feel sad, you will think that, why I am feeling sad? Why? How I can overcome this? What is said is like, all these mood things are natural. Try to experience, undergo. Do not try to cut short one mood. Do not cut short sadness and then do not jump to happiness. But on the other hand, to become a professional, you should also try to uh, learn to handle it, try to control it and if it is becoming harmful in terms of avoiding your uh, professional and academic commitments, you should control it by reasoning it out. Some tricks to enhance spiritual caution. Uh, if you remember, we have actually put some of the qualities that will make you uh, develop this spiritual caution. For example, field independence. Okay, So, field independence is your ability to believe in something Despite everyone is saying that it will go wrong. Uh, some of the famous example, uh, Steve Jobs and uh, his friend uh, Ozniak, everybody thought that there cannot be any computer on the desk. It will be only used by army people. But these people thought that uh, others are wrong and then they can make a popular desktop computer and thus you have this ample and the computer came into existence and in our normal life it became part and parcel. So the spiritual quotient, there are some traits which I have been talked to you, at least 8 traits, some people talk, 12, some people talk. So try to identify whether you have the uh, traits, like having a holistic perspective okay, and then ability to tolerate people from different parts of the world, different religion, different language. Okay. So, if you are less tolerant, it shows that your SQ is at the low level. You need to enhance by practicing more tolerance. So, these are some uh, tricks like first identify the qualities and see where you are already good at and then you uh, try to enhance that. And then Ankita Srivastava, if you are not reacting on anything, People feel he is weak. Uh, not necessarily. Uh, for example, in a GD, if you are a very active listener and then take notes and then show your observation at the end of it, still you can get some points. Uh, and reaction, what kind of reaction? Like showing anger or intimidating some. So you can also react in a positive manner. You can also agree uh, to somebody's statement. Uh, show expression on your face, people will not consider you as weak. So, sometimes they may consider weak because if you are less assertive, so you need to be assertive. We have also talked about being aggressive and assertive. So, state your viewpoint calmly, but stick to it. So, that is assertiveness. 
Pallavi Gupta, very nice course, sir, how to deal with people who mostly tell lies, how to believe them. So, first of all, thanks for the compliment. And then, why do you want to believe people who tell you lies? Okay, so, and how to deal with people who mostly tell lies. You know that they are telling lies. Okay, there is no need to believe them. And uh, the belief, whatever you should have, is with you, your inner self. So, if you are going by whatever we have suggested, you have a plan and then you have an action plan and then there are others around you who are telling you lies. So, then there is no need to believe them. So, you believe in yourself. That will be good enough. So, and then this uh, uh, Swan Jargar is also asking a similar question. How to deal with people who always oppose us? Uh, I would say that be assertive, don't be aggressive. Okay, so people who oppose you may be feeling that you are very strong in your views. If that is the case, sometimes you try to identify the right points in what people are opposing you because sometimes it's your critics who will be also trying to bring the best in you and see why they are opposing. So if you are adamant, if you are not a good listener, then also they can oppose you. On the other hand, if they are opposing you, just for the sake of opposing you, so you can also identify, negotiate with them and then try to convince them that maybe they are not wrong, but you are right. So that kind of win-win situation you need to develop. Seema Gupta. So, sir, right now my nephew is preparing for NEET PG, quite good in studies. Competing well, but sometimes he becomes very stressed that makes us very upset. What to do to remove his stress? So, as I told you in the beginning, make him prepare systematically, ensure that he prepares systematically, makes notes and develops confidence. If he needs some coaching from some seniors or uh, from others who have passed through, you uh, make him take help knowledge-wise. But apart from that, ensure that he sleeps in time, wakes up in time, uh, give a balanced diet. Junk food is always going to cause stress. Okay. And then, uh, as I said, some kind of game, uh, physical game, not video game. So, that will also help one to uh, remove stress. So, uh, initially you suggest it and then uh, even you can play uh, something like badminton or something with the person half an hour, one hour. So, that will also help to reduce stress. Swimming is another uh, good hobby. Even just cycling for a long distance will also make one reduce stress. Pawan Raj uh, says, respected sir, for more than 20 days, I succeeded in uh, holding my bad habit, but now I am indulging into it. What should I do? So I will come back to this question. There are other questions related to habit. Uh, Sarjaro Narvade, sir, how to say no to others? Saying no to others is really difficult. Please guide. Uh, we have said, uh, we have given some hint here, but in the next course, enhancing soft skills, we have a unit on saying uh, how to say no when like, uh, or don't say yes when you want to say no. It's also the title of a book. Some of the uh, suggestions given is uh, never say no if uh, like if you, if they are forcing you to say yes, especially it is very difficult to say no if it happens to be your boss or some uh, senior, then it is very difficult. But say it very politely by reasoning out why you are saying no. So you just try to tell them the reason. Like you say that, for example, somebody says, you should come with me for this movie. So you can say that, no, I have to write this assignment, submit it, otherwise I'll be losing the marks and I cannot pass in the examination. So please understand the situation. Otherwise, I would like to come with you. So, without offending, try to tell them, tell the reason. And the next thing is like, uh, if they still insist, uh, you can actually reward them for leaving you. So, you can say that, if you leave me now, I'll take you for the movie this weekend and I'll pay for that. Okay. Or I'll give you some ice cream when you return from the movie. Now, negotiate, give them some reward. And the third is, they say that, meet them halfway. You say that, yes, okay, go ahead, I am just coming. So, go, uh, like, uh, uh, be there in the theater, I will join you. And then even you just go show them that you are moving. 
and then after some time you tell them that oh it looks like i received an important call i have to go sorry friends like there are ways in which you can say no so some of the ways i told you but never say yes if you have to say no because when you say yes if you have to say no that will hurt you and that will actually diminish your uh, personality development also uh i go back to the offline uh, question which is also related to already what you have asked uh, uh this uh, surya jyoti ghosh has also asked the same on how to handle pressure how to be motivated which i just answered premnath tedla is asking please tell me about how to improve concentration and memorize the data actually concentration uh, will come as i said from your good habits like if you do not sleep for one entire night two nights and then you want to concentrate on the third day it's very difficult because brain is not capable of concentrating if you lose sleep so sleeping properly and then uh, reading early in the morning doing some task early in the morning that is important and today they say that if you want to concentrate lot of distractions are there so avoid distractions even on computer if you have to type something work on something for one hour they say that you just stop all notifications so that you can avoid distractions if you are sitting in uh, let's say a room where tv is there and then you are reading something obviously either you should remove the tv switch off the tv or you should leave the room and go to a place where there is no disturbance so create the environment for concentration make yourself physically fit for concentration and then relate to the goal that you are uh, having with your lifetime uh, aim so if you know that you need to concentrate on that so that it will help you in something else so identify that most of the times you don't concentrate because in your heart of heart you know that it's a useless task something is telling you that oh this is not interesting and you are not able to relate it once you relate it and you find interest concentration will come plus you add other suggestions that i have given you it will help you and memorizing the data on the one hand do not memorize for the sake of memorizing it but on the other hand uh, they say for example when you read you need to write it only when you write it you will be able to remember and having written it you have to say it aloud that is another way to remember there are memory books which also tells you short techniques about how to remember things by associating with certain things like you can associate a word with an image so then you'll be able to remember it so i was uh, telling the students of communication skills the other day to identify the difference between stationary with n a r y and stationary with n e r y okay the one stationary means uh, momentary or like uh, uh, something that is stationed something that is not moving the other stationary relates to pen so i told them the difference is only between a and e so how do you remember the other one stationary if you remember that you will not confuse with the one that is stationed so the remembering the other one stationary so n e e is there i said the moment when you say stationary what object comes to your mind so they said pen or pencil so i said that okay pen has p e n pencil has e so you remember either pen or pencil that comes to your mind and stationary should go with e so then you will never forget so associate then you will never forget and uh, naresh talapaka is asking a big question in all interviews but that i don't know Uh, can you give me answer for this why do we hire you for this job okay so you should be able to uh, tell them that you should hire me for this job because i am the topper in my college i am the gold medalist in my college i have the maximum uh, cpa besides i have also developed lot of skills i have coordination skills i i have organized so many events i'm good in speaking multiple languages i'm good in using computers like you try to sell yourself so you identify the best in you and things where you lack you try to develop that so you hire for example mechanical engineer post 
hundreds of mechanical engineering students have applied so all of them are nine or ten pointers now you need to tell them how different you are so that can be told only by identifying what is the unique quality in you such as i said like uh, uh, there was some person who told in the interview that he has a knack of repairing any things uh, related to mechanical thing and then they asked how do you prove it he said that sir uh, in the lab there was a machinery costing crores of rupees that was lying uh, unutilized as soon as i went i took a project on it in six months i got it repaired so this makes him more dispensable than any other mechanical engineers with 10 point so identify what is it they call it also as your unique selling point your usp what is it that you have in you which others don't have identify if you don't have develop it and then that you should try to project in the interviews okay so coming back to uh, some more uh, questions uh, let me go to this uh, question on habit so he says that 20 days i succeeded in holding my habit but now i am indulging into it what should i do again it's absolutely human that you try something and then you fail only thing you should ensure that for example you try to stop eating chips okay fast food uh, junk food for 20 days and suddenly like you, somebody offered it or even like uh, for example uh, cigarette smoking 20 days you stopped and then the next day somebody offered you started now what should i do okay as i said it's normal human to have it okay but it should not become binge eating so 20 days each day you should have eaten only one chips on 21st day you ate 20 chips on only one day okay so that is really bad so you had it and then you have the consciousness that you had it so what you should do is now you should try to increase the number of days next time even after 21 day if you will have one cigarette or one chips you have succeeded but try to make it 30 days after 30 days you just indulge in the bad habit once the next time make it after 40 days after 60 days after one year after two years after five years uh, at the end of it i'm going to talk about one book uh, uh, very important book atomic habits the author says that you will only manage your habit you will never forget it even after 10 years the bad habit will surface okay and you should remember i should not do the binge eating or indulge in the habit i should do it but then after 10 years once i did it next time i should make it after 20 years so increase the frequency that is the key to success and do not feel disappointed like uh, it's a human tendency like three steps you go high two steps you will come down but you should count that one step still i moved in that direction so that is referred to as atomic habit cultivate one small thing that makes you positively in that direction okay again uh, related to habits uh, there are other offline uh, questions how can i develop good habits and then uh, this is tanya Banerjee. so same thing related to bad habit in order to completely overcome your bad habit the best way is to supplement that with a good habit so uh, so i will uh, i will not eat chips but then uh, i can eat i can have a, a juice for example if you think that uh, apple juice is something that you like which is much more expensive than the chips so you can indulge in that you can say that okay i'll have this i will stop watching uh, this uh, late night movies on internet so supplement that by another good habit so i will read at night okay so when you can change a bad habit into a good habit that is one way of developing it second thing is you know that what is a good habit so often i am telling you like getting up early in the morning walking in the sunlight sleeping in time okay so these are all good habits taking care of your health uh, maintaining your diet maintaining a moderate weight these are all good habits you know what are good habits 
but as i was telling you try to develop and then you fall back now when you fall back remember that you should increase the frequency so that uh, helps me some more ways to undo old habits and relearn new habits and uh, this ponugothi vijay krishna also has an interesting question says sir even after the completion of the course pay attention to the good habit try to develop it uh, uh, constantly and uh, having said so the question from um, this ponugothi saying that even after uh, changing the course i did not feel any change how to improve now i give an analogy you go to the doctor and you say that sir i have severe stomach pain and the doctor says that you take these pills uh, one in the morning one in the afternoon one at night and then uh, the stomach pain will go you take this for 3 days okay and then come back to me if you have pain after 3 days you go back to the doctor and say that doctor still i have the stomach pain so doctor is asking did you uh, take the first pill you say no second one no third one no did you take it for all the three days you say no okay so the doctor has prescribed something and if you have taken it it would have cured you from the stomach ache and you have not done it okay and then again going and telling the doctor that uh, pain is there so it is meaningless if you go to the course we have told from the beginning that you can take a horse to the pond but you cannot make it drink we can give you all the skill development ideas but if you don't even implement one in your lifetime so you will not be able to develop and you will not feel any change on the other hand i would tell you that there are thousands of students who are emailing us as how the course has changed them changed their lifestyle changed their habits so you should only do whatever has been suggested to you at the end of the video you are given some suggestions and some skills are to be developed so you try to go to the videos once again read and see what you can implement you need not implement everything that has been told but try to implement something okay so stop delay for example and then uh, procrastinate okay do not procrastinate so try to do something and then only when you do so you will feel that you are able to improve otherwise not only this course any number of courses which are given to you you will keep saying that i am not able to improve improvement will come only by the efforts you take the other example i give is reading any number of encyclopedia of books on how to swim is not going to help you unless and until you jump into the water okay so keep that in uh, mind and uh, coming back to uh, this one so uh, boldness to any uh, situation so there are two things one like uh, there is uh, uh, nothing like boldness in a sense like uh, courage is actually your ability to handle the pressure and then uh, Uh, as hemingway says just being graceful at the time when you are uh, very uh, um, tensed so boldness is actually trying to act on any situation so instead of remaining passive and not doing anything you just act on the situation automatically you will become bold situation in the class 100 students teacher is asking you the question do you have any doubts you have a doubt and 99 students are not asking and you are afraid now just get up and ask the doubt you will become bold so that is how act on the situation first mate sir please give a course on interpersonal communication yes this is coming next time enhancing soft skills and personality please register for the course um uh neeta rautela sir what is the meaning of not reacting what do one tell oneself so not reacting example somebody is getting angry and shouting at you uh, the best example is socrates so his wife was just uh, he went to the uh, market with his friend and came late and he was sitting with his friend and his wife was shouting at him like anything so so loud and enter uh, uh, neighbors were coming and watching like how she is shouting at this gentleman and socrates was just sitting calmly 
without reacting everybody was watching so and then she got further angry and then she took a bucket of water because he was not reacting so she poured the water on his uh, head to which socrates said so uh, it was uh, thundering heavily so now it has started raining okay so everybody laughed and she also laughed and then so this is what is meant by not reacting in the same manner but then you react in a manner in which you can diffuse the situation sushmita gupta how to find internal motivation please guide sir so internal motivation comes to you the moment you realize that you are not living on the validation of others okay somebody says that you should become this you should become that you know that i should not become that but become someone else or you are looking for compliments from others so and then if somebody says the way you dress is good you are happy and somebody says that this dress is not good for you you are unhappy internal motivation comes to you the moment you realize that i am for myself and then i believe in my own convictions my own principles identify what are your ideals and live okay and then the moment you start living you will be motivated automatically and follow it up okay pragati upadhyay sir sometime i am unable to see my goal clearly or i think i don't know myself sir my question is what to do to understand our, ourselves properly now ask what you are doing right now so for example if you are a second year student your nearest to goal is pass the examination and uh, the slightly longer goal is reaching till final year and getting a degree certificate so identify your short term goal and identify your long term goal so uh, it depends somebody wants money somebody wants happiness somebody wants peace somebody wants a good family so you identify what is it that will make you happy in your life so that you have to do some introspection and after identifying see what goal will take you where okay and accordingly you identify the goal and then you act on it pramod kumar sir i how can i stop self negative talk and how outcome from its trap so as i said the negative talk will come for example if you are less prepared to do something or if you have failed in something before the only way to kill the talk is to do it again confidently and then tell yourself that okay uh, this time i have done it successfully and uh, any anything it is again a human tendency suppose you are going to um, an interview the negative talk will come in your mind you are useless you cannot do all these things so focus on the positives there is at least one good thing that you have done in your life and there are certain things people have appreciated you doing everybody is capable of doing some good thing so that you identify and focus on that good thing that you did and the appreciation you got and the negative talk will diminish you have to suppress the negative talk it will not go by doing positive things and cultivating positive thinking habit ritendra kumar oja what activities you advise us for development of practical aspect of this course so as i said uh, practice whatever is being told to you so uh, public speaking skills developing create opportunities where you can go and talk more okay so whatever is suggested to you conflict resolution try to resolve it so automatically you'll be able to apply the uh, practical one uh, like uh, for example the uh, uh, thing about minimizing uh, postponement so what activities the only activity is do things in time okay have the goal set the goal and then try to finish before time so there was also another uh, question related to this uh, Uh, asking like what happens to us if uh, uh, somebody gives us lot of work due to their uh, uh, postponing tendency and then we are left with no time and then they put pressure on us so the best way is you do not wait for others to load you towards the end you try to finish your task beforehand okay i know there are some students 
when the deadline is given they try to finish the activity one week before the deadline so i ask why you are finishing it one week before the deadline so then uh, uh, the student was saying that so i want to keep that one week open for any last minute work for any uh, sudden work that comes up so give contingency to this do not develop the tendency of working at the last minute 11th hour so if you are able to work in advance and keep some time for unknown happenings so then you will be able to handle pressure stress uh, time well so utkarsh sir how can i score good marks in this course what we do for a good mark sir i have done all my assignments and i scored 90 above in all and i want to get a gold medal uh, it's my aim tips me okay so go through the videos once again uh, if you have made notes already it is fine and go through the uh, videos because there will be some intricate questions uh, and questions which are not asked in assignments could be there and try to like imbibe them uh, in you okay and if you have already done like if you already have a score of around 90 in assignments the exam will also be similar to whatever you have answered you will also be able to score well and uh, do not take it for granted do not think that okay like without watching the videos or going through the transcripts or the ppts i'll be able to come and uh, answer the uh, questions in the exam that is going to be uh, difficult so uh, enrollment is already going on for enhancing soft skills and uh, personality okay so uh, that you can do that there is uh, one more offline question which i uh, uh, so the link is also there so we can put the link uh, in the in the announcement section we will put the link to you so we will request all of you to enroll uh, that course also and we would uh, if you are all there and then if you can also share what you have gained learned from this course to your friends i am sure they will also opt for it and we'll be happy if you can help us cross this 50000 mark so this time we cross the 50000 so let us uh, make it 60 or 70 next time with all your support and uh, there was one question from surya narayanan and i thought i'll end the entire session uh, with that question and so he was asking uh, sir uh, say your secret of success okay now my uh, secret of success is uh, making whatever i do transparent to others and i try to help others from what i have learned to put it shortly my secret of success the way i got motivated is all there in the course okay so whatever things that made me work hard and then like let us say uh, reach iit kanpur in the beginning of the course you have been told that you try to set your goal so maybe even without even so work hard and then work consistently do not give any gap and then share it with others like uh, success begets success so when i'm when i'm able to share what gave me success to others so like when i had struggled to overcome for example postponement i had read a book and then that has helped me to overcome postponement so that again i have shared it with you in the co in the form of a module so if you closely follow whatever has been said here so they are all the tips for whatever you think as the secret of my success and then success is not something that you think that ends at a point of time so it's like once you reach one pinnacle climb one mountain the view becomes better so you go to another one so at this level i would say that just the all the ingredients that gave me success is there in the course so internalize the suggestions given and then that will give you uh, success also last but not the least i told you that i'll end up with a book uh, the title of the book is atomic habits by james clear atomic habits by james clear the full uh, subtitle of the book is an easy and proven way to build good habits and break bad habits plenty of examples plenty of illustrations suggestions he says that even two pull ups in a day 
if you can do it next day three four so atomic habit is just forming the habit and then even incremental slow uh, improvement in that so that is going to change you and then changing the bad ones as i said he also gives a lot of uh, suggestions but he says that the frequency is more important than not doing it at all so it's very difficult to completely forget bad habit or develop the really needed good habits and uh, doing this course for example most of the impetal courses are all like you have formed this as a kind of habit continue with this kind of habit so on behalf of our uh, entire team i wish you all success in this exam do not take it for granted prepare well and then you will enjoy the uh, exam so it will be a big treat for you so enjoy it and then i wish that you get what you deserve thank you so much once again for uh, registering for the course and we will see you again in enhancing soft skills and personality thank you bye thank you sir